Welcome back everyone to learn invitation. Today we're in dynamics and we're going to be solving problem 1676. Okay, it says the link CD is rotating at omega equals to 5 ratings per second. Determine the angular velocity of link AB at the instant shown. Okay, so we got our figure in here. We got basically a linkage system. We're given that the angular velocity of our link CD is equal to 5 ratings per second and we're asked to determine the angular velocity uh, of this link AB. Okay, so the first thing I would like to do in any problems, let's just write out my givens. In this case, we only have one given, and is that the angular velocity of my link CD is equal to 5 radians per second. Okay, now we're in chapter 16, therefore, we're going to utilize our chapter 16 equations, and mainly these two chapter 16 equations which is basically the velocity of a point right we where we can calculate that by having the cross product of my angular velocity times the arm r of that point that's what p refers for and we're also utilizing relative velocity okay the velocity relative to another point so we're going to utilize this those these two equations to find the angular velocity well the angular velocity that we're trying to find is for link AB. So what we can do is find the velocity of point B. And if we know that velocity of that point B, knowing that the radius with respect to this link is six inches, uh, I mean radius, I mean the, the arm. So it's six inches. We can find the angular velocity, but how do we find this velocity? So we can find that velocity by knowing the velocity at C and then we can utilize our relative velocity equation, okay? So let's go ahead and that's basically going to be our main plan. And if I want to know the velocity of B and I want to utilize it with respect to our relative velocity of C, well, we first need to know the velocity of C, just following this main equation, right? But instead of being an A, a point A, we're talking with respect to point C. Now, we will have the angular velocity of the of this link from C to B, right? So we got, I'm going to call it BC, cross product of the arm of B relative to C, okay? So that's our main equation. And what we're going to check is, well, I, I can know this uh, distance, we'll call it distance from B to C, and I don't know the angular velocity of B to C, I don't know the velocity of B, do I know the velocity of C? Well, the velocity of C can be found by this equation again. So if I were to write it down, just for better, understanding we have that the velocity of c is going to be the angular velocity of c well that's the one that is given cross product the uh, the distance which is the distance from d to c okay so we can technically find the velocity of c okay so we're going to give it like a check mark so now we have only one equation with two unknowns. So the idea is to separate this equation into its y and x component and that way we will have two equations and two unknowns, okay? So uh, I'm also going to just go ahead and separate my left side. I'm going to make it very similar to my equation 16, 9, which is basically the velocity of b is also equal to the angular velocity of a B right cross product D distance from A to B all right so we're going to plug these two equations into my main equation so we're going to have that the angular velocity of A B cross product the distance A B has to be equal to right so this is what B the velocity of B is equal to to this then we're going to have our equal, the velocity of C. Well, the velocity of C, similar equation. So we got the angular velocity of CD, 
cross product the distance dc okay or cd is the same thing plus so we have plus the cross product of the angular velocity bc cross product the distance from relative from b to c okay so this will be our main equation so let's go ahead and start doing um we need to start knowing well we don't know this one however we know this so what we're going to do is we're going to have a cross product so the first cross product i'm going to start evaluating them separately is going to be equal to so we're going to do the cross product we have the i the j and the k then we have the angular velocity of a b well the angular velocity of a b we don't know it but since we're in the x and y plane that means my angular velocity can only be in the k direction meaning that it's coming out of the page or inside of the page is it positive or negative well by the right hand rule if i were to put going up getting out of the page so kind of looking like this from your angle looking at the paper and that way will be positive meaning that it will be counterclockwise in other words positive will be in this direction but in the drawing, they're giving me a negative one. So I will put a negative value. Negative the angular velocity of AB in the K direction. In the J and in the I directions, I got zero angular velocity. Then I have to do the cross product with the distance AB. Well, the distance AB is a merely horizontal positive six inches. So I'm going to put six inches and then zero and zero for the J and K components. So we're going to do, do this determinant and we're going to start with the I component. We cross the I column and the I row. We're going to multiply this two in diagonally. So we got equal to zero minus and then we multiply it negative and negative that gives me zero again sorry so we got zero in the i direction right in the j direction we have so remember we have a negative in front of our j we got zero times zero and six times negative so we got zero minus negative six omega ab and this is in the j direction Okay, so I would like to clean this up a little bit. This minus and this minus becomes a positive, but we also have a negative on the outside. Therefore, at the end, we'll have a negative six WAB, oops, in the J direction. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing, but for the K direction. So we have, we hide the K column and row, we will have zero times zero and six times zero. Therefore, we got nothing in the K direction. We got zero in the K direction. So we're done with the first cross product. We're gonna go for the second cross product. So we're going to have the cross product of omega CD, cross product the distance DC or CD, which is the same. We're going to have our I, J and K we're starting with the vector uh, the uh, angular velocity of cd well the an angular velocity of cd okay it's in the k direction as well right so but in this case it's positive so we're going to have a positive and how much is it a positive five radians per second in the k direction so we got five and then we got zero in the other components the distance from C to D, well, we have a total distance of 4 inches displayed back in here. Its Y component is going to be the 4 multiplied by the sine of 45. And similarly, on the horizontal, is going to be 
the four inches cosine of 45 degrees. So we got four cosine of 45 degrees and we got four sine of 45 degrees. One thing to notice is that we're going towards my left and we're going up. Therefore, my y distance is going to be positive, but my x distance is going to be negative. We got zero in the k direction. Therefore, we're going to start doing our cross product. We hide for our i vector. We got zero times zero minus this four times four sine forty five times five. That will give me a total of negative fourteen point fourteen in the i direction. Okay, so recall these two becomes positive. However, we are having a zero minus that multiplication therefore we get a negative value then we have the negative in front of our j direction so we're going to start doing our j so what we're going to do is hide our column and our row we're going to have a zero multiplied by a zero and then we are going to have a negative four cosine that will give me zero minus minus 14.14 same thing again we got one two three minus in front therefore we're going to end up with only one minus so 14 oops now with the laser 14.14 14 in the j direction finally we're going to do the k direction and we got zero and zero therefore we got zero in the k direction our final and last cross product is going to be this one. So we got the cross product between the angular velocity VC times the distance BC, okay? So we're going to do similar process. We got the I, J, K, the angular velocity of BC. Okay, so the angular velocity of VC, we don't know it, right? But we can assume that it's basically uh, in the k direction again. We don't have to assume. It's obviously in the k direction. So angular velocity of BC, we got 0 and 0. Then we have the angular, uh, the distance BC. Well, what is this distance BC? So if we start from B, we are going in the negative direction. And how much are we going? Well, let me write it with red. The angle from here to here should be 90 degrees. Therefore, from here only to there, it should be 60 degrees. So my X component is going to look something like this, all right? And my Y component, something like that. We're going to have both of them being negative. And the X component is going to be eight inches multiplied by the cosine of 60 degrees and my y component is going to be a but multiplied by the sine of 60 degrees okay both of them negative so we got negative 8 multiplied by the cosine of 60 degrees minus 8 multiplied by the sine of 60 degrees i'm putting it down below just because i don't have much space okay and this is going to be equal to similar approach we got zero multiplied by zero minus this negative value, okay? So we're going to have negative a multiplied by the sine of 60 gives me a total of, so we got zero minus and then a negative value of 693 WBC, okay? in the i direction, okay? If we clean it up, negative and negative becomes positive. Therefore, I'm going to just leave it like this in the positive, in a positive uh, dimension. Then we have minus, then we're going to do the j component. We got zero times zero. So we got zero minus, I'm gonna open another parenthesis and we got negative cosine of 60 that will give me, well, cosine of 60 is half, negative A multiplied by half gives me negative four WBC, okay? We got one, two, three negative, therefore we're gonna end up with one negative four omega BC, 
in the j direction. We're going to do the k direction. However, this one again gives me 0 and 0. Therefore, we get nothing in the k direction. So now we have the three components. We're just going to plug this equation knowing our values. So we got for the left hand side, we got this one. So I'm going to even just copy. I'm going to paste this. And this has to be equal to the second cross product, right? So I'm just following the formula. The cross product, this cross product is the same as this one. Therefore, I'm plugging it into the equation. And our third cross product will be this one. So therefore, we have plus this. So we're going to have plus. And we're going to copy and paste this part, which is that cross product. The next steps that we're going to do, as I said before, we're going to separate this problem into the I component and J component, basically the X component and the Y component. So let's just start with the X component. In the left side, I got zero, okay, equals, in the right side, I got negative 14.14 plus 6.93 omega BC. And from here, since it's one equation with one unknown, we can calculate that omega VC is going to be equal to, so if we plug this into our calculator, 2.04 radians per second. Okay, now in the J direction, what do we have? Well, we have the negative 6 omega AB has to be equal to negative 14.14, this guy over here, and then we got minus 4 omega Vc, okay? Now, the omega Vc, the angular velocity Vc, we already know it. So what we're going to do is plug it in there. So I'm going to multiply this by 2.04 and solve for my angular velocity AB. Therefore, my angular velocity AB is going to be negative 14.14 minus 4 multiplied by 204. All of this divided by negative 6. Okay? And if we plug this into our calculator, this will give me a total of 3.72 radians per second. And just like this, we found out the angular velocity of my link AB, which is our question for this problem, okay? So determine the angular velocity of AB. So I hope you guys like this video. Please push the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.